Today we will look at an interesting sound card from Creative Labs, the Sound Blaster 32. The eye catcher is the audio chip that one would expect on a Sound Blaster R64. Nevertheless, this is a Sound Blaster 32 product with a model number CT3670. This sound card appears in a post on Vogons that discusses a fault. The owner was not able to get it working in his 486 system. Multiple attempts to install the drivers and reconfigure resources were unsuccessful. As usual, forum members were supportive and suggested looking for physical damage on the board. And guess what? They were right. Here you can see how the main audio chip has a few bent legs in one of its corners. If they touch is hard to say, but unfortunately the owner of the card was unsuccessful in straightening the legs with tweezers. In my opinion, a bad twist to this story is when the owner tried to use hot air in an attempt to fix the damage. I did try hitting the legs with hot air, very much a novice, but I recently bought a station, hoping to at least avoid the risk of damaging the pads, but there was an audible pop and I may have fried the chip. That pretty much is the end of the story. Nevertheless, the card is with me now and I would like to try to give it one more chance. Here are the damaged legs we have already seen in the pictures. We will get a much closer look at the damage under the microscope in a moment. I also noticed this capacitor right next to the audio chip. It looks like the bottom of it is bulging. Could that have been the audible pop during the hot air treatment? To be on the safe side I will replace this capacitor, straighten the pins and reflow any bad solder connections I will find. Since I will be off for a few days and therefore don't have enough time to talk you through the entire process, I will put on some background music while I try to repair this card. At the end of this video, we will test the Sound Blaster in my ASUS P3BF that I recently used for the Cairo 2 project.
After I repaired all visible damages I could find on the card, we can finally try the Sound Blaster 32 in my test system. I also put a post analyzer card in one of the PCI slots for us to monitor the boot process. Sadly, the Sound Blaster 32 seems to prevent the system from booting. At postcode C0, the first and only postcode we receive, the system halts and nothing else happens afterwards. And that is very unfortunate, since the card was probably working before hot air was applied. At least this is what I understood from the first post on this thread. Based on this melted connector, which was in good shape looking at the pictures on Vogons, it is evident that the hot air was not only applied to the audio chip. It takes time to melt such a plastic connector and therefore there is a chance that other components on this card have been destroyed as well by excessive heat. And all of this is very unfortunate. This Sound Blaster 32 most likely could have been saved, if it weren't for the hot air. So, what do you think about this card? Do you think the audio chip has died due to the excessive heat? Or do you have any other suggestions that we could try to maybe get a step further in the boot process? Whatever ideas you have, please let me know in the comments. And this is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.